I'm Tanya Hopkins, AKA the Food Leo. The Culinary History Advisor for the Old Stone House of Brooklyn and their Food and Public History Program. I'm here today in honor of and to tell you all about Juneteenth. The holiday's name is a play on the date June 19th in 1865, when the Union Army, about 2,000 troops, complete with colored troops, colored, which is what African Americans would have been called at the time, marched into the port town of Galveston, Texas, to make the announcement and to read the Emancipation Proclamation, which had actually been implemented two and a half years prior. So they're just now getting the news on this date in 1865, in June, whereas they had been freed in January of 1863. So that's part of the really big deal about this. And also the number of the troops, there were 2,000 of them, and there are an estimated 250,000 enslaved people in Texas at the time. And so from there, and the year after, in 1866, celebrations commemorating that key date began to happen. And even though they started originally in Galveston and in local areas throughout Texas, because of the Great Migration, this commemoration and this celebration found its way throughout the entire United States, including right here in Brooklyn, where it's celebrated to this day. And for Juneteenth, we want to honor the history of the enslaved people who cultivated this land, and the Lenape before them, who established and laid the foundation of this rich agricultural area that the enslaved built upon with farming and development of very fruitful crops. In our gardens here at the Old Stone House, the strawberries have already been eaten up. It's such a short season for strawberries, but we do have raspberries coming along nicely in the south garden, and the June berries are out in the pollinator garden. There's also some beautiful red stem chard for those that love the delicious greens like me. Even though red foods are prominent, greens are always important. During the pandemic, I was working with Chef Denzel Washington who was making hearth meals here at the Stone House. I was mentoring him in culinary history, so I designed two Juneteenth themed menus that went along with some sides of history that you can find on the Old Stone House website. If you're looking for inspiration or recipe ideas for foods to make to celebrate Juneteenth with your family. Red food and drinks are really important for the Juneteenth celebration. Why red food and drink, you might ask? Well, the color has a historical and cultural continuity to societies throughout Western Africa. Red color in these ancient African societies played very important spiritual, ritual, and even royal roles in the societies for centuries. And it is also the color of our collective human life force. And it's also symbolic of the bonds, the blood ties for family, because many people, the first thing that they did, did immediately upon hearing about the news of freedom and emancipation was to go and look for and find and search out family members and loved ones. Old Stone House and scholar in residence, Mr. Dylan Yates, the Old Stone House staff, and myself, we are actively continuing to investigate the legacy of slavery here at the Old Stone House and their descendants. And we are looking at what happened to those enslaved here and ways to better commemorate and communicate the important legacy and the stories for more inclusive history. So if you are interested in helping us out uh, with this endeavor, please do reach out. You can visit us here in person at the Old Stone House or online at theoldstonehouse.org. We have visitors right now. And be sure to join us for the upcoming in our mini, mini series uh, for July 4th and also August 27th, which commemorates the Battle of Brooklyn that was fought on these grounds here in the Revolutionary War. So two other very independence and freedom themed uh, occasions and historic dates. In the meantime, cheers to Juneteenth. You can follow the Food Grio or you can check out thefoodgrio.com to subscribe to get the recipe for this delicious, if I must say so myself, very culturally relevant, historically inspired drink, which can also be a cocktail, celebrating this important commemoration. Cheers. <laughs>